Unit 5 Trigonometry, Section 5.3, The Basic Trigonometric Ratios. Next part of the review is let's label the sides of the following triangles. You've got the hypotenuse, the opposite side, and the adjacent side. Took this first triangle. I always like starting with the hypotenuse, and I like that because that right angle always points at my hypotenuse. Plus, it's the longest side on any triangle. But this opposite and adjacent parts... Those ones all depend on which angle we're looking from in the triangle. And it's marked right here. We are looking from that angle right there. So one on the far side of the triangle is my opposite side. And the one right beside it is my adjacent side. Remember, the opposite is like your X. You want to be as far away from them as you can. And the adjacent side is like your new friend. You want to be right beside your new friend. Let's start looking at our sine, cos, and tan ratios. There is a formula for each one. Before we get into it, I need to do another quick definition. And that's theta. Theta is a Greek letter. We use it as a variable for an angle. Often we'll use an x for a number we don't know. Well, if we have an angle we don't know, we often use the letter theta. It's just like an x. So let's get into our sine, cos, and tan formulas. Sine of theta, well that is my opposite side divided by my hypotenuse. Cos of theta, that's my adjacent divided by my hypotenuse. And tan of theta, that's my opposite side divided by my adjacent side. Those are three formulas you need to know. And I'm going to insist that you have them memorized. But I'm going to give you a little trick that it makes it easier to memorize. Let's look at this. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. C-A-H. Ka. And our last one, tan of theta, is opposite over adjacent. T-O-A. Toa. Soka Toa. When you are doing anything to do with the trig functions, at the top of your page, I want to see Soka Toa written down. Because inside that are all of your formulas. Sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Cos of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Tan of theta equals opposite over adjacent. As long as you got Soka Toa, you have your formulas. Anybody who's been in my classroom will recognize this sign, and that's exactly why it's there, to help people remember those three trig ratios. So Katoa. Let's start finding our sine ratio, our cosine ratio, and our tangent ratios. I want you to keep in mind, sine, cos, and tan aren't useful yet. I'm still working on pre-skills. Next section, I'll show you how they become useful. So for right now, just bear with me. So the first thing I need to do is I need to notice in all of these questions, I'm looking from angle A. So if I am working from that angle, the first thing I should do is label the sides of my triangle. I want opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. I was like starting with my hypotenuse. That angle points at the hypotenuse. So this is my hypotenuse. If I'm looking from angle A, the side on the far side of the triangle must be my opposite side, and the one right beside it must be my adjacent side. Remember how I said any page from now on in when you're working with sine, cos, or tan, I want to see that little saying. I want to see Sokotoa. Let's put it down now. Sokotoa, there it is. Let's use that to find our formulas and find our ratios. Let's start with sine. Sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of A, because I'm looking from angle A, my opposite is 15, my hypotenuse is 25. Might as well turn that fraction into a decimal. Sine of A equals 0 0.6. Let's move on to cos, using the ca part of this. And that is cos of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So putting our numbers in, I'm looking from angle A. So cos of angle A, my adjacent side is 20. And my hypotenuse is still 25. Cos of angle A equals 20 over 25. Let's turn that fraction into a decimal. So we're going to go 20 divided by 25. Cos of angle A equals 0 0.8. And let's end it off with tan of theta. That's that one right there. Tan of theta equals opposite over adjacent. Once again, we're working from angle A, so tan of angle A equals, my opposite side is 15, my adjacent side is 20. Turn that fraction into a decimal. Tan of angle A equals 0 0.75. And there are my three trig ratios for angle A. Remember, this is still just pre-skills. Next section, those ratios we're going to use to find out information about this triangle. Let's do another one. Always, always, always start with that little saying, Sokotoa. 
Okay, before I can start working with these formulas and these ratios, I should name my triangle. I'm still looking from angle A. It's a continuation of the earlier question which says, find all of the ratios of sine of A, cos of A, and tan of A. All right, my right angle looks across over at that 53. That 53 is my hypotenuse. Far side from angle A is 28. So that's my opposite side. And 45 is the leg that's right beside my angle. That's my adjacent. Let's start putting down the formulas. Okay, I'm still working from angle A. So sine of A equals opposite, which is 28, over the hypotenuse, which is 53. Dividing out that fraction, sine of A equals 0 0.528. Cos of theta. So if I'm working with angle A, cos of angle A equals adjacent, which is 45, over the hypotenuse, which is 53. Cos of A equals 0 0.849. And last but not least is my tan. Tan of theta equals opposite over adjacent. Tan of angle A equals my opposite is 28 and my adjacent is 45. Tan of A equals 28 divided by 45, 0.622. There are my trig ratios. I need to note an important piece of information. In this particular case, when I'm looking at that trig ratio, when the sine of an angle equals a ratio, that ratio doesn't have any units. And it's not just because my triangle didn't have any units, but the trig ratio itself does not have any units. The number, the 28 or the 53 or the 45, those individual pieces might have a unit, but the ratio, that is, has no units.